Aries, it's West Coast Tarot with your March How Do They Feel About Me love reading. This is for my lovely Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading and may not resonate with every Aries out there. But if you like the video and um, it vibed with you, please like and subscribe to catch future Aries videos. Also, I do offer personal readings. Um, all that information is down below, as well as any of the decks that I use. If you are a deck collector, um, you can always find that information in my description box. So this is a specific reading for those who have made a connection with the person, meaning you have had a connection with this person, um, and you're wondering where you stand with them. Maybe you're in a relationship, you're having a problem, maybe there's no communication. This is the reading for you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Also, I do read reversals, so if you are not into reversals um, or comfortable with reversals, I am not the reading or the channel for you. Okay, so what they're showing you, Ace of Coins, how they see you, the Hierophant, how they feel about you, Six of Blades in reverse, what they like, Seven of Coins, what they don't like, Ace of Cups in reverse. In action towards you, we have strength. Okay. Wow. Um, so what this person is showing you, um, they might be showing you that they're more focused on work at this time. This is someone who is very driven financially that you're dealing with. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like this person is putting most of their time and effort into work right now. I feel like because this is an Ace of Coins, um... This person does want to have a new beginning with you, a more stable beginning with you, but some of them may have not expressed that to you while others have. But right now, what, what you're seeing, what this person is showing you, is that they're putting all their time and energy and effort into other avenues of their life and chasing out other opportunities. Spirit White, ooh, too many. Why'd that come out? Spirit, why is the Ace of Coins here in regards to what Aries person is showing them? Why is the Ace of Coins here? Yeah, with the Temperance card, I also feel like they could be working on themselves. Um, they're trying to go on a middle path, finding meaning to their life. Um, but, you know, this could also be talking about how um, they're being patient in a situation. Maybe they're waiting for you or you're waiting for them. Spirit, please clarify the ter temperance card. Why is this here? Thank you. Oh, Ace of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, this is talking about divine letting you know. With the temperance card here, this is Sagittarius energy. But with the Ace of Swords in reverse, I feel like this per person, um, you guys may not be on speaking terms. They still have not found the truth and clarity that they need to come towards you. Okay? I feel like this person is... Um, with the Temperance card in regards to the Ace of Coins, I feel like this person is working on themselves and trying to... Um, seek out the truth because I feel like they are blinded and I feel like that's what they're showing you they're not sh they're not really showing you a whole lot um they seem to be driven more so or dove into work um but behind the scenes this person is trying to work on themselves in order to improve this situation how they see you they see you as a hierophant so maybe some of you could be committed in another relationship. But what I'm getting from this more so is that they see you as someone who they can commit to. Okay, They see that you're someone who may be stable, someone who is has potential for long-term relationship. Spirit, why is a Hierophant here? And this is Taurus energy. Why is the Hierophant here, Spirit, for my Aries? But right now, you guys aren't even trying to put work on anything. I feel like you guys with the, the Magician in Reverse, um, I feel like you guys are not even worried about them. 
Because with the magician, I feel like you guys aren't even putting any work into the situation. Like you're not putting any more time or effort into the situation. Why is the magician in reverse spirit? Ooh, too many. Spirit, why does the magician come out in reverse? Because I don't feel a deceptive energy from you, Aries. I feel like you guys have been very truthful and very vulnerable with your heart. Why is the magician in reverse here? Yeah. They're also disappointed because many of you may have cut this person off due to past disappointment. I feel like you guys are no longer putting up with this. You have your sword. You're ready to go to battle. You're not taking any offers that don't serve you. You're going to cut out any interference that's interfering with your personal life, with your personal happiness. They feel you as someone who might be um, not emotional towards them and someone who's thinking with their head over their heart, okay? But I feel like... I also feel like they have hurt you, but in a sense, they're disappointed because... Um, they may have felt like you went in another direction away from them or you're no longer putting in any effort or time onto them. How they feel about you is six of blades in reverse. So this person has not moved on from you. Even if they haven't reached out to you, um, with six of blades in reverse, this person has not moved on from you, okay? I still feel like they're holding on to um, other baggage in their life with this, this backpack here too. Spirit, please clarify the six of blades in reverse. Why has this person not moved on from Aries? Because <laughs> Besides an Aries being so fabulous. <laughs> Why has this person not moved on from my Aries? Why have they not moved on from my Aries? Too many. The hangman are reverse. They're, they're stalling and taking any action towards you. They're stuck on you. Spirit, please clarify the hangman are reverse. Too many. Ooh. They want to come back to you with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Again, um, Earth Energy again. This person does want to come back around to you. They want to get in good graces with you. They want to get in... Um, they want to come back from you and they're stuck. They have not moved on. But they haven't put a, uh, made any action plan towards coming towards you. They're stalling and making this decision to come back to you. How they, what they like about you is seven of coins. So they see that you're someone who is very um, business oriented, crafty, good with money, but also someone that they can invest their time in. Um, they see you as someone that they can grow and expand with, but I feel like with seven of coins energy here, I feel like they, they see the value in a fruitful relationship with you. Spirit, why is the... Um, Seven, why is the seven of coins in reverse? I'm sorry, seven of coins. Please clarify seven of coins. But I feel like this person, um, with the strength card in reverse, I don't feel like this energy is related to you guys. I'm not sensing that. What I'm feeling is this person is insecure. This person may be the, um, Insecure are not as confident as you are. Spirit, why did the strength card come in reverse? They feel like they are weak in order to come towards you. But they do long to be with you. They do want to, you know, they do want to be with you. They want emotional fulfillment with you with the Ten of Cups here. They want emotional fulfillment. They Some of them want a family with you, but they want to be with you. They just don't know how to get to you. You know, they're feeling weak. They feel like you have the upper hand in this situation, which you do because you're an Aries. And they need to prove their worth. What they don't like about you guys is the Ace of Cups, okay? In reverse. So I feel like you guys are not giving them even an ounce of your emotion or time. Um, I feel like you guys 
I felt like at one time you guys knew this relationship would be successful and you put the work in, but they didn't. And now that you guys aren't giving, they see that this relationship could work, but I feel like it's too late. Like this person did not act in time. And now that you guys are closed off to them emotionally, because the only place it ever led to was heartache and disappointment. Okay. And some of them may have involved you with another third party. Um, but I see like, I see that by walking away, um, this person is now starting to see that their behavior is not serving them and they're trying to work on themselves. Um, they're trying to work on finding more guidance in order to change this behavior. Spirit, why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? But they don't like that you guys are being emotionally closed off about them and they're kind of confused about you. They now see... Whereas before they treated you guys like one of their options, they're now seeing that you have many options to choose from and that you don't have to settle for them, okay? Spirit, why is the Seven of Cups? Yeah. Like, they see you guys shining with the Wheel of Fortune here. You guys are doing your own thing. You guys are going towards success. Many of you are trying to go um, increase your money, Okay, with the wheel here. I also feel like you guys have changed. You know, seasons change. This was inevitably faded, okay? And I feel like you guys are, in a sense, over it. And it was because you guys gave and gave and gave, and you finally decided to pull back um, because you saw your value. You guys know you have options in life. You guys know you're going somewhere, okay? But now that you have pulled back, this person sees the potential, with the strength card in regards to how they'll be approaching you, again, I don't feel like this person will be approaching you until they find their inner strength because I'm still sensing the energy with the strength in reverse here that this person is not lacking the confidence um, to come towards you. I feel like now that you guys have broke free from them, you guys have found a new self uh, sense of self-confidence and I feel like this person um, sees that strength in you and until they... Until they are able to set aside their ego until they are able to, yeah, set aside their pride. There will not be a new passionate beginning here until this person comes clean and stops their deceptive behavior or pattern. Um, if they were to release this deceptive behavior pattern, I feel like there would be a new beginning. But I feel like right now, you guys are being strong, you're shining. I feel like this person won't come towards you until they set aside their pride and ego, okay? Um, and find the strength to admit their wrongdoings. Only then would there be a new passionate beginning. <clears throat> but they have to release their, their seven of swords energy. They can't just look after what they want. They can't just lie. They can't be deceptive. They have to learn. They can't treat people like this. And this person has not learned. But I'm feeling like you guys really got to this person... And it took you taking your sword and cutting ties with them, unfortunately. I feel like you guys were the sole catalyst for this person to realize that they're not perfect. I feel like this person has done this before with other people. I'm sensing that. And they can't forget you. They can't move on from you because you guys are the only person that has ever took a stand to them and ever put them in their place is what I'm sensing here, okay? And that's very strong. But yeah, whoever you guys are thinking about, don't let them fool you. Um, they haven't moved on from you. And they're trying to work on themselves in order to, you know, find courage to come towards you. But um, good luck with that. Because I don't feel like you guys are worried about this person. Angels, what messages do you have for my Aries for the month of March? unrequited love yeah that person this person um this goes two ways and this is what i'm feeling from the unrequited love this person at one time you were the person who gave in this relationship okay you guys were definitely the person who gave in this relationship and i feel like this person had other people around them okay and i feel like you gave you gave in this relationship and this person was being false and they were having other hearts they were breaking other hearts around them and I feel like they didn't feel about you the same way that you felt about them at one time. But now that you guys have cut this person out of your life and have moved on and are no longer off, you guys are no longer offering emotion is what I meant to say. Now this person 
it's twofold back on them. So this person now feels unrequited love, okay? So I feel like this person um, is getting a taste of their own medicine. What else would you like my Aries to know, Spirit? Oh, come on, angels. I said Spirit. But what, what else do you want my lovely Aries to know in regards to their love for the month of March? Yeah, deception. You guys are being deceived. I feel like this person does desire um, a reconciliation, though. I feel like, but be careful, you guys, because some of them are still wearing a false mask and haven't healed all the way. And some can't, some of them aren't even being truthful to themselves. Some of them don't even know what they want in life, to be honest with you. But I feel like some of you will be reconciling with this person if they find the strength to admit their wrongdoing and change their way. And then you guys have to start from scratch and really get to know each other. But for those of you who are moving on, stay optimistic about your love life. Um, stay positive. Always stay positive. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And this is very true because you guys are Aries, okay? <laughs> Not that Aries are the most attractive zodiac sign in out of all of them. I mean, they really are. But I feel like Aries easily attract people. Like, never doubt your true potential. Never doubt who you are. You guys are the trendsetters. You guys come first. You guys, people watch you and your actions and in, in order to, um, you know, make decisions in their life. So I feel like you guys always have options. So never feel like you have to settle for anyone's measly cup, okay? Get that golden goblet, okay? Never settle for anyone, ever. Love yourself first love those around you that that cater to your needs but never settle for anyone who's not serving you in a golden goblet okay because you guys are aries so i'm gonna leave it there um i will catch you guys on your next video take care love and light always